particular on offense tonight? Uh, I just think that we got back, you know, playing with a great pace and just playing with good energy. I just think no matter what, how the game's been going the last couple of months, we just got to bring positive energy and just feed off each other. I think that's what goes a long way with us. You know, we got a group with a lot of guys who can impact the game like that. And so I think when we, you know, assert ourselves like that and bring good energy, it can, it can, it's can contagious. I know it's, it sounds easy enough when you say it like that, but is it that when you're struggling and you're in that to keep maintain that positivity to know that you can turn it around with just hopefully one or two good games? Yeah, no, nah, it's tough. I mean, uh, it's it's a consistent thing, and a lot of it's more mental than it is actually just going out there and playing. Just, you just go through stretches where um, you feel like you just can't get over the hump, especially the last games, a couple of games beside the, the – um, uh, Detroit at home is just you know you're in every game and you feel like you're going to turn that corner in the fourth and you end up don't and it's kind of surprising I think you know shocked a couple of us so I think that we just came in with a better mindset today just made sure we got over at home today. A few weeks ago I asked you about your three and you said hey I, I'm shooting it but I need to keep shooting it when I get those looks. Mm -hmm. This almost become the norm for you of getting the open three and hitting it. What has been the biggest difference for you with that three-point shot like tonight the way you hit it? Uh, I just think just not hesitating just knowing that you know the more opportunities I get to shoot it, you know, more often than not, I'm going to make it. And that's just how I feel mentally. So just making sure I stay with that same approach, no matter if I'm making or missing, because, you know, you might miss your first three, you make your first three, you 50%. So just kind of keeping that mindset going in uh, each quarter, and each game. Okay, well, apart from Jimmy, just being pretty good at what he does, why is, when you guys have yeah. a late lead, why is he often the most kind of coherent offensive option to get him a mismatch and just get him the ball? I mean, he just attracts so much attention. I mean, you leave somebody one-on-one -on -one with Jimmy, most likely he's going to score. And I think everybody knows that, and we know that. And, uh, you know, guys, us being on the weak side, we understand that he's going to make the right play when guys are open. So it's just just such an easy guy to go to in late in the game. He just makes it work. How do you stack these? Um, just same thing, come in with the same mentality. I just think that the more we come in and, and approach the game like we're – coming in to win and, and not taking, you know, teams lightly and not thinking it's just going to happen. We just got to be more assertive and, you know, um, put our best foot forward um, on each half and we got to play a full 48. Caleb, you saw Tyler last year get blitzed a ton now. Over the last couple of games, Bam's game kind of doubled from that mid post. Mm -hmm. Just how are you seeing him counter that, specifically tonight? And how does that change, I guess, your spacing in general, making those reads? Uh, I just think the more, just with anybody, I mean, like you said, it's their first couple of times probably seeing that this year. And the more you can tell game by game, the more they're seeing it, the better they're adjusting to it. And, you know, once they start to figure that out more and uh, that becomes more easy for them, it's, the options are unlimited for them. And it only makes it easier for us because, you know, they're going to have to keep doing it. And you take two guys and put them on one guy and somebody's open. And most likely it's, it's guys like me and the, on the weak side. And that's how a lot of times that's how I get those open threes. When you're making those reads in isolation, it always seems like you're kind of looking at the front foot of the defender, kind of mm -hmm. attacking that front foot. Just what is the mindset in, in terms of when you're going on one day? Yeah, uh, I just know that, uh, yeah, I read, yeah, I read, you know, obviously guys who open up and a lot of guys like to bite on first move every time. And it's just especially because they, they know I'm typically I got a, a quick first step. So I know guys like to bite on that. And so I just typically, you know, just try to find a counter and just try to get downhill. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.